Hello. So in this video, we are talk about 1.3, a very short, very simple subtopic. Where in this subtopic, we are define element and we are going to classify the element into atoms or molecules. And we will be only discussing element from group 1, group 2, group 13 until group 18. Let's recall what is element. We have talked about this in your subtopic 1.1. And the keywords of element is one type of atom. Element is a pure substance that made up by only one type of atom. As you all know, element can be in the form of atom or molecule. Element is also the simplest substance that cannot be broken down into any simpler substance by any chemical reactions. So let's look at group 1. Group 1 element exists in the form of atom and molecule. For the atom, we have all the metal, lithium, sodium, potassium. While for the molecule, we have hydrogen, gas, where hydrogen gas is the only non-metal in your group 1. Group 2 only exists in the form of atom. The example that we have is beryllium, magnesium, and calcium. Same goes to group 13, where group 13 elements only exist in the form of atoms, where we have boron, aluminium, gallium. While for the non-metal group 14, the elements exist in the form of molecules. The example that we have is carbon and silicon. While carbon can exist in the form of graphite and also diamond. What's the difference between graphite and diamond? Figure that out. Group 15 element exists in the form of molecule. Nitrogen exists in the form of gas at standard condition, whilst phosphorus exists in the form of solid. Group 16 also exists in the form of molecule, where you have your oxygen gas, and also you have your sulfur solid. Group 17, halogens. All halogen exist in the form of diatomic molecule. Fluorine chlorine exists in the form of gas. Bromine exists in the form of liquid. While iodine exists in the form of solid. Group 18, which is your noble gases. All noble gases is a monoatomic, therefore they are all atoms only. The example that I have is helium, neon, argon. All three is a colorless and odorless gas. And this is the end of this short video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next subtopic 1.4.